Hi Robin. Hello Jane. How are you? How are you? Hi Jane. How are you doing? Good, good. Today we're going to introduce. Sorry. Uh, to our magazine. <coughs> As you see here yeah. in article number one, we were showing how to use the LEDs correctly. Today we're going to show you how to wire up the LEDs with the correct power supply. In other words, not overpower it, and also the calculation that we need when working out the LEDs. Yes. What we're going to do now is Travis is going to hook up the power supply, it's a 20 watt power supply. He's going to hook it up to a row of LEDs here. Unfortunately, this is the incorrect number of LEDs. Hold on, sir. Okay, we have 36 1.2 watt LED per module, 36. How many, uh, I mean, the, what size of uh, power supply unit will be correct power supply unit? I mean, okay, well, you then, have to that, what we would do is we take the wattage of the LED. I believe this one is 1.2, is that correct, correct. Jay? Correct. correct. So we would take 1.2 watts, we would then times it by the number of modules, which is 36 modules, add on 30% safety factor for the wires in between the modules, and then that will then give us the correct amount of uh, wattage we would need to run the modules in the yeah. side. That is correct. Let, let's, let me, yeah. So we work it out quickly. Yeah, okay. Uh, the most of Asian good at numbers, but I'm <laughs> not. So I'm better than me, <laughs> better than me. I'm going to show you uh, how we calculate 36 module times 1.2 watt is 43 watt, but we still need to add 30%. So put 30%. Actually, 56 watt of uh, power supply you need. Now we're going to connect to only 20 watt power supply unit. Let's see what is happened. See? Connection is correct. Correct. Everything correct. is correct. Because red to red and black to black. Yeah. Because Sorry, of red. yeah. Because of the not enough power, so it's flickering. So once any power, any any signage is flickering, that means. The wrong power supply unit, isn't it? Correct. That's definitely correct. Thank you very much. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up a shorter row of LEDs, and then obviously then hopefully so correct. Yes. the LEDs won't flicker. Okay, now we uh, calculate from the transformer. So 20 watt transformer needs how many modules is less. 30% divide. divide, which means the 6, so 14. 14 Less should be correct. 14 Two. watt. So 14 watt divide 1.2 is 11.6. So make it only 11. You cut only connect 11. Let's see what, what, what happened. Okay, no problem. Thank you. There we go. So here's the correct number of LEDs for the power supply. Let's connect it and see what happens here. See? No flickering. Power is all on, everything is clear, all the LEDs are eliminated. As you can see, that's definitely the right calculation. Right amount of LEDs, right power supply. Well done, Travis. Thank you very much. Thank you. The yesterday when we uh, when we test with our mineral the power supply unit, we connect to 35 watt LPV series. But even if same amount 36 can run, but obviously can run with, without flickering. But we must calculate correctly because mineral is good. Quality, yeah, uh, yes. quality of power supply unit so that it can run, but end of day, you know, it's a damaged uh, power supply unit and then it's going to die. Yes. Now, I want to uh, give you one more session of how to calculate. Just can I move there. Thank you, Jack. Let's uh, leave you part one. Here's a uh, module and if you 
see closer here is a 12 volt input with 1.2 power con consumption let's uh, calculate if the sign has 110 piece of this module how many what size of uh, power supply is the correct size of power supply is 110 this times 1.2 watt equal one thirty two watts, hundred thirty two watts. So, are you saying, Jay, that if I use a hundred thirty two watt power supply, then that will run the modules? No, that is the part one. Say that we need thirty percent the marginal because of the power supply unit is same 130 or 100 but it's not that actual efficiency is not that the good one maybe 90 percent bad one maybe 70 percent so, so we uh, encourage you that 30 percent we need to the marginal so what is the 30 percent uh, of the 132 is almost 40 39, so 40 plus equal 172 watt is your, what you need. Now, so normally there is no 172 watt exact power supply unit. So close to one is 150 and 200. But don't go 150, go for 200 watt power supply unit. Or two of 100, 100 power supply unit you need to run 110 LED modules. Okay? So Jay, if the module was running on say 2 watts, would I then have to replace it over there in the formula? Most definitely. Yeah. Because each LED is a different yeah. watt. Yeah. So take the value of the LED module, put it into the formula, add on a safety factor of 30% and then we'll be okay. Yeah. Thank you very much Jay. Thank you. Yeah, another one. Please check the LED module spec. Is there how many how uh, the power consumption is a one some most of LED before three four years ago 0 0.72 now because of need more brightness and also there is the diffusion the the wide angle so give them more power so nowadays 1.2 watts per module is quite popular so that power consumption, consumption of each module is most uh, important also the number must check from the spec set thank you Jay I think an important thing to remember also is that every LED has a different wattage so when calculating you must, you must know that that formula is across the board but you must always check your wattage on your LED because each LED varies in, in wattage and I just assume that every single LED is 1.2 watts. Thank you very much, Travis. So in other words, check on the side of the module. Correct. For the correct value, and obviously put that value into the formula that Jay has just given us. Definitely. Welcome back. Okay, now what Travis is going to do for us, he's going to illuminate the fabricated letter number 7 here with the incorrect number of modules. Let's see what happens. The cover on here. Okay, as you can see, it's a dark spot over here. Let's maybe turn off the lights so that we can see. 
Okay, so the lights will be off and then we can have a look see in more detail of what is actually going on here. There we are. You can see here this channel right over here. It's not illuminated. Okay? Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Not illuminated. Okay, as you'll see here, that is a dark spot that we've just seen now. Let's take off the cover. As you can see, we've only got two modules wired. That's why it's causing that dark spot in the middle. Next, we'll show you the correct amount of LEDs in order to get the correct amount of light throughout your letter. Alright, as you can see, we've put the correct amount of LEDs into the letter. We're going to hook it up now and see what happens. There we go, put our face on. As you can see, no more dark spots in the face of the LEDs of the channel letter. As you can see, the correct amount of LEDs. The advantage of using the Street Warrior 3 LED is that it has a 160 degree lens. When using the WH52 plexiglass opal white, we then have a nice illuminated even light across the side. W? I, I wanted to repeat. Okay. Sorry, Jay. No, no, no. We're looking at WH52 plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? WH52. 52. Optimized for LED light. To make it even color and even brightness in the face. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much for taking time out today to watch our videos on the LEDs. Thank you, Travis, for coming through. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Jay, for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Travis. Cheers, guys. Cheers. We'll see Thank you. <laughs>